Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or good afternoon. I guess it depends on when you're watching this video. So this next video is gonna be on comparing fractions. So just like we've compared numbers and did less than and greater than, we're doing the same thing, but this time it's with fractions. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the introduction here just like we've done and did the last lesson, okay? So, here we go. Pat folds a sheet of paper into three equal parts. Jack folds a sheet of paper the same size as Pat's into two equal parts. They each color one equal part. Who colors the larger part? So, one third and one half, okay? One half is bigger than or greater than, I should say, one third. And remember, the alligator eats the bigger number, okay? So Jack colors the larger part. He colored one half, and you can see by comparison that the half is bigger than the third, okay? So let's move on. Let's look down here at our samples. We have, so you have two steps to do. So the first thing it wants us to do is to color in the part of the fraction that it asks for. So it wants us to color in one fourth, and then it wants us to color in one eighth. So the book did this one for us. And as you can see, one fourth is larger than one eighth. It's backwards from what you would think. So typically, numbers are smaller. So four is smaller than five, five is smaller than six, correct? But with fractions, the bigger the number on bottom, chances are this one's gonna be a little bit bigger because it's only divided into, it's, you're splitting this between four people and you're splitting this between eight people. So think of it as a pizza. You have a pizza and we talked on the last lesson that pizzas are split into eight parts. You know that I'm not the best drawer. So here's my pizza. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you're splitting this pizza with one other friend, you would each get four pieces, right? So these are my four pieces. Those are your four pieces. Now, if you're splitting it between three friends, so it's you and three friends, you're not gonna get as much pizza, are you? So you would get two pieces. Friend number one would get two pieces. Friend number two would get two pieces and friend number three would get two pieces. It's the same thing, okay? So you we were splitting this piece of paper with four, well, you and three friends. So this piece of paper is being split between four people. This same piece of paper, same size, same width, everything's the same, but it's being split between eight friends, okay? This one, this one's one-fifth and one-tenth. So we have the same size, same paper, but this one's being split between five friends and this one's being split between 10 friends. So the, the piece that's being split between five friends is gonna be greater. So one fifth is greater than one tenth, okay? Now, here's the other thing. We have one seventh, so let's color in one seventh. And just like we talked the other day, it doesn't matter what we color in as long as it's one seventh. But for the sake of this lesson, I, we were, we're gonna color in the first square so that you can see and compare how much bigger they are. Okay, so we have one seventh and one seventh. So same size, same piece of paper, we're splitting it between seven friends. Same size, same piece of paper, we're splitting it between seven friends. So that means that this one is equal. One seventh is equal to one seventh. All right, number four, one out of 12 pieces is shaded. One out of six pieces is shaded. So we have this same piece of paper, same size, same length, everything's the same. This piece of paper is split between 12 friends. This piece of paper is split between six, six friends. So which one's bigger? The one split between six friends. You're gonna get more Pay more page or more pizza or more Skittles or more 
Fortnite game time. Okay, you're gonna just think of it as a as as a clock. Okay, you have to split your hour your time playing Fortnite between twelve friends or between six friends. You're gonna get more time playing when you split between six friends. So one twelfth is less than one sixth. Okay. All right, on the back. Same thing. Okay. One third and one fifth. One third is bigger than one fifth. So typically you would think five is bigger than three. So one fifth is bigger than one third, but that's not the case with fractions. The smaller number is typically the bigger fraction. One sixth, one ninth. So same piece of paper, same shape, same size. You're splitting it between six friends and you're splitting it between nine friends. Okay? So one sixth is greater than one ninth. Okay, then we have number eight, one eighth, one fourth, we color them in. One eighth is less than one fourth. Remember, eighth is the bigger number. And this is gonna be the last one we do because we have other things we need to do for this lesson. One out of 11, one out of seven. So it's, it's not much bigger, but it's still bigger. So one seven, one eleventh is less than one seventh. You can also see that it kind of makes like an L. So L for less. All right. But it eats the bigger number. So we're not going to do 10 and 11. I do want to look at this paper. Okay. So this is the same thing that we've already done on a previous page. But on that page, it was only just one part was shaded in. If you notice on lesson one, it always had one part shaded in. So now we're going to do this lesson, but it's the same thing that you've already done. It's just more than one thing is shaded in on some of them. Okay. So remember the top number is how many parts are shaded in and the bottom number is how many parts there are total. So for this one, it's two out of the four parts. So we have the fraction two fourths. This is how we would write it and this is how you would spell it. We have this fraction. We have four parts that are colored orange. Avery, there's your favorite color girl. And six equal parts. So our fraction is four sixths. Okay and here is a reminder again. Remember the top number tells how many equal parts are colored. The bottom number tells how many parts are equal, how many equal parts are in the whole. Number two is done for, sorry, number one is done for you. We have three parts, two of them are colored. All right, I'm gonna do two, three, and four, and then I would let tell you to pause the video and talk it over with a mom or a dad, brother, sister, somebody. If you wanna write it down, you can write it down and do it. We're not taking these for grades, but this is just to help you guys and help you figure these out so you guys can get better at fractions. So number two, there are four parts and three of them are colored. So our fraction would be three fourths. Number three, there are three parts colored and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts total. Now, a question that I have a feeling some of you might be having is, do we count the three parts when we're doing the whole? Yes, okay, so you wanna make sure that you count them again. So there's three parts colored in, but all together there are eight parts, okay? So we don't just count the ones that are not colored, we have to count them all. That's how we get our fraction. So this is three out of eight of these, okay? We're not gonna say that it's three fifths because there's five not colored. It's three shaded in out of eight. So you count those parts that are shaded in again. Okay, number four, one, two, three, four, five parts. One, two, three, four of them are colored for our fraction four fifths, four fifths. Number five, one, two, three, four, five, six parts total. Two are colored for the fraction two, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
for the fraction one, two, three, four, five. Five tenths. Now, what other fraction do you think we could write for this? Think about it. There are 10 parts and five of them are colored. So out of 10, five are colored in. So it's the same thing as writing one half because half of this is red, half of this is white. Number seven, one, two, three, four, five, six parts total, four are colored, so our fraction is four sixths. Number eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine parts total, four are colored for the fraction four ninths. Number nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven for the fraction eleven. Oh, sorry, did that one wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are 11, 11 parts, and one, two, three, four, five are colored for the fraction five elevenths. This one has a lot colored in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are 12 parts, and out of those 12 parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are colored for the fraction nine twelfths. One two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight parts total. One, two, three, four, five eighths is our fraction. And the last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And out of those seven parts, four are colored for our fraction, four sevenths. Okay, there we go. So now you guys are getting a little bit better and a little bit more practice with fractions. Okay, again, if you have any questions or you're confused by anything, have mom or dad email me and I'll be more than happy to help, okay? Happy learning.